the Amiga Workbench. Um, I thought before I show you any of the other uh, utilities here, I should really show you what the Workbench was. So essentially this is your boot screen uh, when you start the Amiga, and the Amiga won't do anything until you put in the floppy disk. Uh, sort of like a console, you know, it only starts when you when you run uh, a game to it. Uh, so the Workbench was your operating system if you wanted to do anything with files, work processing or anything like that. Now, uh, most of these utilities on here weren't very, very useful, but this provided you could copy that very easily and uh, make your own Workbench with uh, other utilities that you had. So uh, let's try that. I'll show you the Workbench for the Amiga. Uh, it's going to take a while to boot because what it does, so I might just skip to uh, where it started because uh, we're going to look at that for a while so there's no point so this is the workbench essentially this is your windows um you have a few of cones here so if you have what's called a ram disk and ram disk is whenever you want you have enough ram here we have uh, i have an extension of one meg in this or 500 k's so it bring, brings the memory to a one megabyte um of, of ram <laughs> so um, if you wanted uh, stuff to load faster you could actually run them in the uh, RAM disk and they would actually instead of being loaded from disk they could be booted directly from RAM uh, it obviously consumed RAM but uh, if you were working I don't know on work processing or different utilities you could actually work stuff from RAM instead of the workbench and you'll see what I mean with loading screen so uh, this is a Windows type system um, and uh, so you have a trash can, you have, essentially this is the same thing, it's, this is your DOS, I'm gonna just quickly load this. So it's a shell, I don't know why actually it said CLI, oh yeah, because one isn't working. Uh, but the CLI is the command line instruction or something like that, so this is more or less your DOS. Um, I'm not sure exactly what, I don't think directory, oh yeah it works, there you go. Uh, this is the Amiga DOS. It's not too different from uh, from the uh, MS DOS. Uh, it does similar similar stuff. You can copy and format and access the directory and that kind of stuff. So uh, I think the closing. There you go. That's to close it. Um, so you get uh, utilities. Um, so yeah, you know, printing file content. Um, uh, more was an uh, was it an ASCII file viewer? Uh, yeah, ASCII text file viewer. So you entered your file name, um, essentially just a text editor, uh, more or less. Um, I don't need to do anything here. Uh, say was kind of cool. Uh, you see what I mean? This was it was actually what blew my mind uh, when I was a kid. Um, it was uh, oh, there you go. So you enter your speech, your text here, and Hello. <laughs> it would actually speak speak at the uh, whatever you entered. So we had obviously, as you can guess, tons of fun. So they had male, female, so you could say hello. Where is the? There you go. Uh, female. Hello. Yeah, that was definitely a female, and for you could enter hello. R. See, the difference is staggering. So, <laughs> so system, you had the um, yeah, system utilities, nothing too wide. Um, here, fix font, what's that? See, various utilities, most of them I you never used because you didn't quite know what this was doing, and uh. This serve no really purpose either. Um, doing something dangerous, I'm actually uh, forcing the uh, Amiga to multitask. It was. It seems my uh, my recording device stopped for a while, but um, so yeah, there was a font editor which doesn't work, uh, and a printer, all sort of preferences selection and to be honest you never quite used any of these uh, of these utilities because they, they serve no purpose to you when you're especially when you're a kid uh, this you can actually change the colors of the workbench um, which I guess was kind of cool 
but not really let's use that there you go slightly change the color um but you know if it was too much too bright and too much strain on your on your eyes you could actually change that you could also change the um the cursor let's load that again so edit pointer and you can actually change your uh, arrow cursor is, well, that was cool um let's try something don't know what i'm doing here but i'm doing it okay there you go we've changed the cursor how cool and um what else and this last bit here Mimax. I forgot what this was. So this on its own wasn't doing much, but it came. Oh well. Oh. We try. Hmm. Cancel. It came with this disc, Amiga Extras, and um, unfortunately, I think this disc is just as corrupted as, or even more corrupted than my. Uh, Oh, uh, new column. What's that? Uh, oh yeah, there was a, a right a mouse button as well, which actually gave you a um, contextual menu on uh, on here. Oh yeah, cool. We've got all the demos and stuff. <clears throat> so this is the um, Amiga uh, Utilities uh, disk loaded. Here, um, I'm not sure if it auto boots, but it had a few a few cool stuff. Um, there was just various tools and uh, stuff that I'd never really used. But the performance monitor and uh, icon editor actually was uh, something I, I toyed with a good bit. Uh, it's essentially, yes, yes, yeah, we're all good. Um, so you just had a template for an icon, and uh, there you go. You just played around. You could change your color, uh, but that's how you uh, you created an icon. Uh, you could add some text and save, and you know, do all the stuff you wanted. You could access again this uh, contextual menu with the uh, the right uh, mouse key. Um, yeah, it was kind of cool. I actually played a lot. I made a lot of custom uh, custom uh, icons. Um, all of this, I'm not sure exactly what they were, but I'm not going to go through all of them. You could select different palette um, uh, schemes. Uh, PC util was just for copying files and copying drives. Um, Amiga Basic was essentially a <laughs> at the Amiga Basic, uh, similar type of Basic to a lot of 16-bit uh, of and 8-bit machines at the time. In a sense, you can pretty much predict what most of the functions were so this was your editor and uh, sorry pen and uh, we are gonna print hello sorry this is a french keyboard in a world and i'm not used to the french keyboard anymore where is the there you go um it actually puts everything in uh, 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 uppercase and then to run it you just go to the contextual menu um, you can do all sorts of stuff copy paste uh, show list yeah um, you can have a trace uh, but uh, start and there you go hello world and that's as simple as that um, show output that's what it does and uh, show list it shows you your listing so it was that simple uh, pretty cool though I thoroughly enjoyed playing with it and uh, it came with a few demos I think some of them I made myself I can't remember I made a few I think no I don't want to save but it was a few uh, uh, um, basic demo what's demo music speech you could do all sort of stuff oh, that was an animation oh yeah I remember these and these actually just were it wasn't very optimized, the basic, I have to say, so it actually took uh, a lot of uh, processing time. And here was an example of the Amiga multitasking. It wasn't exactly multitasking, it was actually sequential uh, tasking, and it switched between application um, every every odd cycle. So it's not multitasking, really. Um, and actually, I'll show you if I close them. And you, if you can see, you lose, actually, a, a bit of uh, 
processing time and these become faster suddenly and if I just uh, and now it's super fast <laughs> Yeah, these work good, but you can actually uh, um, open these in the uh, Amiga Basic to see what the uh, what the, uh, the 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 listing was and what what you know uh, how to use the Basic. So you could actually uh, edit the code yourself. It was really cool, really really cool, especially when you're a kid. And that was really it. That's what the workbench and the uh, Amiga Extras were, just a series of uh, tools and utilities just to uh, to get you started in in uh, in computing in general. Um, and what you could do is uh, sort of mix and match. So you copy the workbench to have a bootable disk and then use some of the utilities that you like to use. Maybe the, the basic, maybe a word processor, maybe a Excel spreadsheet type of uh, application and uh, have them in there. So there you go. That's the uh, Amiga workbench. Uh, this one is workbench 1.3. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and uh, next time we'll probably uh, look at one of the uh, utilities, like this one, Workbench Management System 2.0, which I suspect is actually just uh, a series of more utilities for your workbench, and stuff you'll never use. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.